Hewlett-Packard raised $14.6 billion in the bond market to facilitate its split into two companies this week. The deal comes after the worst September for global sales in four years. And as Mike Lynch, the founder of UK software company Autonomy, accused HP of damaging his career with false statements in the fallout from the two companies' $10 billion merger, Lynch is suing Hewlett-Packard for at least $160 million. For more, let's bring in Corey Johnson. Um, let me just, let, I want to clear up one thing. It's a little, yes. there's no, obviously I, I said $10 billion merger, but there's no such thing as a merger. That was clearly an acquisition. Yes. And one and that Hewlett really, Packard uh, has paid dearly for. Well, so when Maybe we more think about dollars. what Hewlett Packard just did in terms of raising money, selling debt, right? They sold $14.6 billion in bonds. What would $14.6 billion, it would get you $10 billion of autonomy and leave you $4.6 billion left over. Um, so for, let's talk about the, the, the acquisition first that went bad. This is an acquisition where they spent $10 billion to buy this, this software company that appeared to be uh, smoke and mirrors after they got it, uh, they, at least according to Hewlett Packard. They accused Mike Lynch, the company's founder and CEO, of misleading them, of, of participating in some crummy accounting that, uh, that cost the company, and they, and they wrote uh, almost $8 billion of the deal off right away. Um, as, as a worthless acquisition. Uh, Mike Lynch now suing, saying that the statements that they made about him not only were incorrect, but have cost him down the line in other business ventures, and that, that should, he should be paid $140 million as a result. Um, but I think in the context of this loan, of, of these two 10-year bond uh, uh, offerings that they issued, I think it's worth looking at, at the way the market is looking at Hewlett Packard. This is investment-grade debt, and yet, they had to pay 2.9% uh, interest rate on this, which is a full 50 basis points higher than any other investment grade debt of the, of the, of the same rating, which is to say that the market has substantial doubts, 50 bips of substantial doubt, uh, on a very big issue well, of What do you debt. think that is? Do you think the ratings haven't caught up to reality in this case? Yeah, I think it's exactly what it is. And we know yeah. that because of the way the market's reacting. The market has a greater concern about debt issued by Hewlett Packard because of the way they've done things in the past, because of the direct of both of the Hewlett Packard companies, although this is, this is going to be the Hewlett Packard Enterprise company where the, this money is going, this debt is going to this go. This is where they try and uh, provide software services, more software focus, services, more, more high end focus, but theoretically higher margin. Although in practice, not only are the, is that part of the business shrinking, not growing, as is the other parts of the business, the PC and the, and the printer business, which we call Hewlett Packard Inc. But also, this HP Enterprise business um, is not only uh, declining, they're going to have to restructure it the first day out the gate. Imagine if you built a new house and said, yeah, but we're still going to have to remodel the kitchen as soon as we open it up. That's what they're saying about the new Hewlett Packards, both of the new Hewlett Packards. But, and this one's going to come with a bunch of new debt, $14.6 billion in debt at, at higher If than you were expected someone who rates. was constantly remodeling no matter what, then it wouldn't surprise me. Well, I anyone, mean, as anyone who owns a house would know, or Hewlett Packard. It's never done. <laughs>